Hey there, thank you for tuning in to Down to Vacay. This is Gil. I've been looking to share this story with you for the past week, but I've been wanting to find out more information, see the updates, see what's happening. And I figured, you know, now is the time to kind of push it out there and see what you guys, what you guys think, what you guys believe. For me, I am, uh, I'm not feeling quite empathetic, uh, sympathetic. Uh, I hope it doesn't happen to me, to be honest with you. Uh, it could, it's a possibility it could happen to me. But uh, I want you guys to let me know what your thoughts are on this matter. So here's the situation. Family pays for a cruise. The family gets a notification about, uh, you know, uh, excursions that were canceled. So they're like, why? You know, what the hell's going on? Give them a call, find out that the uh, excursions were canceled and refunded because they canceled their cruise. Now, of course... They're over here freaking out, like, what the hell? I didn't cancel my cruise. What's going on here? So, you know, this back and forth, you know, nowadays you go on social media and you go, hey, you know, this place, this company screwed me over and, and they did this, X, Y, and Z. They canceled my cruise. And then you have everyone else jumping in. Yeah, them bastards, you know, son of a bitches. Uh, they always do this crap, you know. All right, so it turns out that the, uh, the family... Uh, did get their cruise canceled. But what happened was someone got their booking number, their booking information, went online to Carnival, created a profile, used their booking information, and canceled the cruise. Now, initially, you know, everyone is saying that Carnival screwed up. It's a glitch. It's, you know, a technical issue. But it's not. It was because uh, a family member... Uh, actually went online uh, onto a, 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 a Facebook group and posted the picture or an image of their booking information with the booking number, I guess, to go, hey, guys, we're going on a cruise. We got the Excelsior. We're, you know, we're going all in. And they posted their booking information, their booking number. Um, and so here you have the situation where Tiffany Banks uh, goes on to, you know, social media. So today, this morning is selling and we are going to go down and we are fully prepared um, that they're going to tell us no, that we can't board the ship. And um, we're not planning on making a scene. We're going to absolutely do our best to stay calm and cool. But I want somebody a resolution like you are going to do something. You're going to make this right. I even told them that we were here for an extended time because we're staying extra time in, in Florida whenever we get off the cruise. I told them that we would be happy to switch to another cruise. Um, they said, nope, nope, nothing's available. I, I just can't, can't believe. Okay, so you, uh, you, hear, you hear her, you know, go off. You hear her explanation and, and her thoughts and her feelings and everything else. And, you know, they, Carnival, that is, you know, their, their uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Their compromise is to not give you a refund because the reality is, if you look at every, every cruise line's policies, there's a, certain, there's a certain amount of time that you have in order to get a full refund, in order to get half, uh, a quarter, and then zero. No refund whatsoever, and they pretty much passed their their threshold that that date before the, you know uh, you can't get anything back in return. Um, so Carnival decides to okay let, let's compromise. We'll give you two interiors, right? We'll give you two interiors, and then we'll give you ten thousand four hundred dollars for future as a future credit. Um, now it's a you know it's it there's a discrepancy. It's either onboard credit or you know. If, Ten, you know, a, a future credit. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, man, listen, if you're going to get onboard credit, get the onboard credit, right? T take the two interiors on the, you know, Carnival Celebration, get the onboard credit, you know, the $10,400, and buy yourself, uh, you know, a Louis Vuitton bag or something like that, some watches, some some crazy stuff. Why? Because, again, you're on a cruise. You can only... You can only do so much on a cruise, especially in your cabin. If you have a cabin, you can't take that with you back home. 
Okay, you can't take the cabin back home, but you can take a Louis Vuitton bag. You can take, you know, uh, some tag watches home, you know, whatever the case may be. You can take that home, but you can't take anything else home. You can't take a cabin home. So do that. Why don't you do that? But I guess not. That wasn't good enough. But if it was, you know, future credit, right? So you can use that $10,400 for a future credit. Then take that. You already got an interior cabin, two interiors for your family. Take the $10,400. But here's, here's the question. Here's an issue. Um, the issue is, if you are at fault for providing the booking number online, then shouldn't that be your fault? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to achieve here? Are you looking to sue Carnival for millions of dollars here? Or are you trying to just get a vacation? I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what the situation is. I don't, I don't really, I don't get it, to be honest with you. I mean, I understand we're at, you know, we're in a time of social media. So everything you post on social media, it's this big thing, right? You know, uh, it's like, uh, you know, cancel culture, I guess, or whatever the case is. <laughs> and um, I feel like, you know, with, with her, with her statement saying that she's not going to, you know, use Carnival anymore. Like, dude, that was your fault. You did that. You know, you and your husband did that. You guys posted a picture of your booking number online, which anyone can use. Now, on the flip side, I do believe that it should be, there should be another step, another step in, you know, the cancellation process. You know, give the person a call. Make sure that they really want to cancel the, the cruise. So let's just say I, I decide to cancel and I go online, I cancel it. I want maybe a phone call, you know, from uh, Carnival to, hey, hey, you know, you, you cancel the cruise? Did you, uh, you know, you sure you want to cancel? At that point, I'll say, listen, I do because of X, Y, and Z. Let me talk to someone personally. Let me figure this out. Let me, you know, maybe it was an accident. You know what I mean? Like, it could have been an accident. Who knows? Uh, I've never had to cancel a cruise before. Once I lock in, I lock in. And if I do cancel a cruise, it would be with a cruise agency. I would call them up myself and say, hey, listen, I'm not, uh, I'm not looking to go. But I think that there should be another, another step at uh, canceling a cruise. But, it, it, you know, again, you, you just don't post, you know, your... your your booking number like who does that like why would you do that so i feel like they're they are at fault in this situation now the other side is that you know they're saying oh well look at look at this now carnival you know recently changed their uh you know their policies or their glitch they're calling it a glitch now uh they they recently changed their policies or a glitch uh because carnival did post a uh, a little a little blip on the top of their their website that says uh you know do not show your booking information online or publicly uh, and that's pretty much it that's all that they did that, that's all that they did nothing else there was nothing you know major that they changed and you know again it's just that so they're calling it a glitch it's not a glitch it's not a glitch you posted your information online and it's like, again, if I post my credit card number, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the security code, you know, the, whatever it is, someone is going to go out there and use it because that's just the way of the world, man. That's just the world we live in. Um, and that's, that's exactly what happens. So here she gets a, she actually has a conversation with someone from Carnival, uh, you know, again, giving her somewhat of a compromise and uh listen to what they have to say and that this was not a security breach on carnival's part we strongly believe that you were sadly a victim of a form of identity theft position the the booking was added to a profile that was created on our website with the same day that the booking number was posted on facebook and while it was added to a profile that date, it was not canceled until approximately 48 hours before the And the credit is what we are prepared to offer of the 10,404. 
it would also be contingent on you posting something to the effect of that Carnival has now resolved the issue. Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick update um, since the last video I posted. I actually was contacted by Carnival and we have answers on what happened, but we do not have resolution. Um, get your big cups ready because lots of disappointing tea coming at you. Um, official word is we have been victims of identity theft, even though their stance is they have, there has been no security breach but my husband and I posted on social media a couple weeks prior to the cruise um, with our countdown tracker and somebody created a fake profile that same day and added our booking to their online account. They're saying that it's coming from British Columbia, but they're not 100% sure. They can't exactly pinpoint the location. So they've created this profile. They've canceled our reservation just two days before. I have so many questions on how that's even possible why carnival allows somebody to just add somebody's booking number without like proof or anything this is definitely a policy that needs to be updated that's not okay um second thing is had they listened to me whenever i said i didn't cancel and done a quick and swift um investigation we could have had this squashed and they could have gave us our room back like some kind of policy needs to be updated. Uh, anyways, the great little um, caveat here, they were offering me um, a $10,000 onboard credit for future use if I post on social media that there has been positive resolution, even after telling them multiple times, I'm not interested in it. We're not interested in selling with Carnival ever again. That was their offer, take it or leave it. But it was contingent upon me posting on social media that we had positive resolution. So yeah, guys, there's our update. I don't know. So what would you do? What would you do? You're, you're getting $10,404 um, for something that you did. So you're getting money back, but you're getting money you know, to go back on a cruise, right? So they're, they're giving you an interior, two interior cabins for your family. You can still go on the cruise. You can still enjoy everything on that cruise. You just won't be in, you know, the biggest cabin on the cruise. So you're not going to be able to post it on social media and go, well, look where we're at. You know what I mean? Like we're in the Excelsior cabin. You won't be able to do that at that point, at that time. But you could do it at another time. You can still use the $10,404 uh, future credit on another cruise. So why not just do that? Why not just take that? For something that you did wrong, for something that is your fault, uh, again, one could possibly put the blame, uh, not possibly, but one could put the blame on uh, Carnival for not making it a little tougher to cancel cruises. Um, again, I hope I never have to deal with this. I hope it never you know, comes to me. But who knows, you're going to have a lot of people looking to purposely screw you over. Uh, this world is uh, <laughs> it's quite screwed up. Um, but either way, what are your thoughts? What do you think? What would you do? What would you do if you were in that situation? Would you take the uh, $10,404 future credit and, and go on the cruise even if it's you know two interiors? What would you do? I don't know. I think I'd go on the cruise, you know, suck it up and just be like, ah, damn, you know, write it up as a story or something like that for down to vacay and then go on uh, another cruise, you know, preferably uh, a new Ex, you know, uh, uh, Excel ship uh, class, you know, go on another Carnival Excel class ship. Uh, who knows? Either way, what are your thoughts?